today we're going to replace the crank sensor on this 2010 Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine. So we're underneath the vehicle, I've got it secured on a hoist. Uh, if you're going to do this in your driveway, maybe use a jack, but always use some jack stands to help support the vehicle. Got to be safe first and foremost. We're looking at the underside of the engine here. So you can see we've got the exhaust pipes here, we've got the transmission, and we have the passenger side axle here. Well, the crank sensor is located in the oil pan here underneath this little cover. So first thing I need to do is remove the three bolts holding this heat shield in place. Now because of the location of the sensor, it's critical that this shield be in place. You can see we've got some exhaust components nearby, also possibility of any road debris. And this is a very critical sensor to the operation of the engine. So it needs to be protected at all times. So when we're done, we really need to make sure that this gets put back in place. Once I got the heat shield out of the place here, now we can see the sensor and the connector. So first thing I do is just, I'm gonna grab the, the electrical connector here, wiggle it back and forth, and disconnect the electrical connection. Next, I'm just going to use my 10 millimeter again and remove the hold down bolt holding it in place. I'm going to grab the old sensor and gently work it back and forth and give it a slight rotation to try and break it free. And we have to be careful with this. You see, there's actually an O-ring in here. That's just kind of holding it in place. Now we're going to expect possible some engine oil to leak out of here as well. Remember, this is located in the engine oil pan here. So I've got a catch pan below it. Make sure you're going to grab a rag here to catch some oil. And we need to uh, be ready for the oil. But also, we want to work it back and forth and not snap it off in the engine block. Now you can see didn't take a whole lot of effort to get it out of here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the oil off the old sensor and lubricate the O-ring on my new sensor. It's going to ease in the installation process here. And we didn't lose a whole lot of oil. So I just was able to pop it back into place. Now I will reinstall the hold down bolt make my electrical connection, and reinstall my heat shield. Well, now that I'm finishing tightening these, these bolts up, got our heat shield back in place. Next thing to do before we call this job done is I need to use a scan tool and clear adaptive memories and then do a crank relearn procedure on this. Now, this is a very critical step in completing the process here. The crank sensor is not only used to fire the ignition and the injectors in the proper timing sequence, but it's also used to measure misfires and calculate which cylinder is misfiring. So after we've done this, we need to relearn it and kind of uh, teach the PCM the correlation between this new sensor and the profile tone ring on the crankshaft. There. So we can do this with a scan tool. There are some additional uh, non-scan tool methods uh, you can find them online pretty straightforward, but it is very important that we actually do the relearn procedure. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the crank sensor on a Honda Accord with 3.5 liter engine.